8. Create Temptation Most of the time, people struggle to maintain security and a sense of balance in their lives. If they were always uprooting themselves in pursuit of every new person or fantasy that passed them by, they could not survive the daily grind. They usually win the struggle, but it doesn't come easy. The world is full of temptation. They read about people who have more than they do, about adventures others are having, about people who have found wealth and happiness. The security that they strive for and that they seem to have in their lives is actually an illusion. It covers up a constant tension. As a seducer, you can never mistake people's appearance for reality. You know that their fight to keep order in their lives is exhausting and that they are gnawed by doubts and regrets. It is hard to be good and virtuous, always having to repress the strongest desires. With that knowledge in mind, seduction is easier. What people want is not temptation. Temptation happens every day. What people want is to give in to temptation, to yield. That is the only way to get rid of the tension in their lives. It costs much more to resist temptation than to surrender. Your task, then, is to create a temptation that is stronger than the daily variety. It has to be focused on them, aimed at them as individuals. Understand, everyone has a principal weakness from which others stem. Find that childhood insecurity, that lack in their life, and you hold the key to tempting them. Their weakness may be greed, vanity, boredom, some deeply repressed desire, a hunger for forbidden fruit. They signal it in little details that elude their conscious control, their style of clothing, an offhand comment. Their past, and particularly their past romances, will be littered with clues. Give them a potent temptation tailored to their weakness, and you can make the hope of pleasure that you stir in them figure more prominently than the doubts and anxieties that accompany it. Many such social barriers are gone today, so they have to be manufactured. It is the only way to put spice into seduction. Taboos of any kind are a source of tension, and they are psychological now, not religious. You are looking for some repression, some secret desire that will make your victims squirm uncomfortably if you hit upon it, but will tempt them all the more. Search in their past. Whatever they seem to fear or flee from might hold the key. It could be a yearning for a mother or father figure or a latent homosexual desire. Perhaps you can satisfy that desire by presenting yourself as a masculine woman or a feminine man. For others, you play the Lolita or the Daddy, someone they're not supposed to have, the dark side of their personality. Keep the connection vague. You want them to reach for something elusive, something that comes out of their own mind.